In this video, I'll be doing a quick drawing of the veins in the posterior media steinum, otherwise known as the Avidus venous system. To draw this out, I'm going to start with the vena cava. So I'll add the inferior vena cava down here, and then the superior vena cava, plus the bradiocephalic veins that form it, up here. Finally, I'll add one of the tributaries that drains into the IVC, and this will be the left renal vein. Now, like many veins, this system can be quite variable, so I'll only be drawing their most common distribution. The avidus vein normally originates with a root coming off the IVC at around T12 to L2. This merges with the ascending lumbar veins before travelling up the body and into the chest. As it ascends, it receives blood from most of the posterior intercostal veins that drain the right hand side of the thoracic wall. It then terminates at T4 by arching over the root of the right lung and emptying into the superior vena cava. Now, because of the level it finishes at, the second, third, and fourth intercostals form a superior intercostal vein that have to head inferiorly to join the avidus. Meanwhile, the first intercostal vein drain directly into the left bradiocephalic instead. This avidus vein is only found on the right hand side of the body, so what happened to the veins on the left? Well, here we have something slightly different. Again, they have a structure that starts with a root in the abdomen, but this time it originates from the renal vein. The left lumbar veins unite with this vessel, it enters the chest, and it collects blood from the posterior intercostal just as before. However, this time it won't travel all the way through the thorax. Instead, it stops at around T8, crosses the midline, and then drains into the avidus. This leaves us with a structure that's similar, but only about half as long as the avidus vein, and so we call it the hemi avidus vein. So, what about these upper intercostals? As on the right, the first intercostal drains directly into the brachiocephalic. The second, third, and fourth again form a superior intercostal vein, only this time it drains into the brachiocephalic as well. The remaining veins unite and form the accessory hemiavidus vein. This travels down the chest before taking a sharp right turn and meeting the avidus. The avidus network primarily functions to return blood from the thoracic wall to the superior vena cava. However, because it connects the two vena cavae, it also provides an alternative route for blood to enter the heart if either of these structures become obstructed. So, that's a quick overview of the Avidus system. If you have any questions, please just get in touch. But otherwise, thank you for watching, take care, and I'll hopefully see you again soon. Cheers!